Hi there, my name is Carmelo Sansone, Product Marketing Manager at Renesas. I'm here today to talk to you about Arex Floating Point Unit. Today, customers have thousands of MCUs to choose from. However, until now, the best choice was not available. Arex, performance without compromise. The floating point unit, it's an important part of the microcontrollers because today customers are increasingly confronted with a multitude of applications that require data acquisition, data modeling, and fast response and data processing. Rx and its floating point unit, it's here to meet these demanding applications. I will give you a quick overview about the floating point unit architectures and how it leverages the Rx core sys based addressing mode. Some of you have also asked me what applications actually benefit from having a floating point unit. And I will present this at the end of this presentation. But let's not wait any longer. Let's jump right in. The picture below shows the RX600 generic block diagram. As you may notice, the RX600 features a rich set of peripherals, an integrated zero-weight state flash memory with up to 2 MB memory size, data flash, SRAM, as well as a floating point unit. Let me zoom in into the CPU core and see how the floating point unit is connected inside. In this block diagram, you can see the various elements present inside the core alongside the floating point unit. As shown in the diagram, the FPU is tightly connected to the CPU, sharing the same registers. As a result, floating point operations can be similarly performed without employing external registers, reducing data transfer overhead. Competing architecture needs to go through the extra step of loading operand values into the general registers first, then move them to the floating points dedicated to the registers. The result of the floating point unit are placed into the dedicated registers and moved into the general registers to be then stored into memory. In contrast, the Rx FPU shares the general purpose register with the CPU. As a result, FPU operations are highly optimized. Example here shows how the floating point unit takes both operands from the general purpose registers, sending the result back to the general purpose register. Here, the floating point unit performs this operation without outside data transfer. Additionally, the Rx FPU leverages the Rx powerful addressing mode, bringing FPU's performance even one step further. FPU operations can be executed taking each of the two operands, both from registers, both from memory, or one from register and one from memory. Operations result can go either into register or directly into memory. Let me give you an example. In this example, we show a memory to register floating point operation made by using the instruction fmule. The FPU takes one operand from a register and the other operand from memory. The result goes back into the general purpose register. This is just one example to showcase how the floating point unit takes advantage of the Rx addressing mode. This table displays the Rx 600 instruction set. Different colors identify different type of instructions. The yellow columns indicate the instruction set for the floating point unit. We have eight dedicated instructions. Let's see in more details each of them. Floating point instruction set. We have floating point add for adding two floating point operands. We have floating point compare to compare two floating point operands. We have a floating point divide to divide two operands floating point multiply, floating point subtract, 
floating point to integer operation, integer to floating point operations, rounding a floating point value into an integer. Here are a few examples that will benefit from having a floating point unit. Pressure regulators. Different equations are used to estimate fluid pressure and provide real-time compensations to valves present down the chain. Motor control. Different algorithms are used to provide estimations of motor positioning and speed. Digital filtering. A floating point unit helps to improve performance of digital filtering applied, for example, to audio signals. Thermocouple conversion. Different algorithms are used to estimate temperature values and convert that into temperature readings. Motion control and flow controls are two other examples, and so on. These are only few of the applications where the presence of the FPU significantly improves performance. Generally speaking, all the applications that apply mathematical model on data acquired from analog devices will benefit from having a floating point unit on board. Let me explain in more detail this concept with two of these applications, thermocouple conversion and motor control. Motor positioning and speed is modeled using different techniques. In this example, we have specifically picked the most commonly used technique, the flux observer model for a sensorless motor positioning and speed. We have two possible solutions to compare, a solution based on a fixed point implementation and a solution based on a floating point implementation. Let's see the results on using these two solutions. From a CPU bandwidth point of view, a fixed point implementation requires 76% of the CPU. The floating point equivalent application requires 46% of the CPU. From a code size point of view, the fixed point implementation requires 14 kilobytes versus 7 kilobytes with the floating point implementation. What are the conclusions? Usage of the FPU not only improves bandwidth and code size, but also overall performance. We do not have any scaling or artifact effect usually present with the fixed point implementation. We also have an improved accuracy of the motor position and speed. Code is easier to maintain since formulas are directly translated into C language. We also have, as shown in the diagrams, a reduced CPU bandwidth usage and a reduced code size. Let's see the second example I indicated before thermocouple temperature conversion. Thermocouple's analog data values given from the thermocouple sensors are first converted into digital data. These digital data are then processed according to the formula here displayed into a temperature reading. In few words, this formula translates data values into temperatures reading. Four different solutions here are compared to process this formula. Table lookup implementation. It makes use of a table where all the possible voltages are calculated and placed on a table. It requires large amount of memory size and some compromise on accuracy. It is very hard to implement for multiple temperature sensors. Floating point library. It is a set of APIs designed to translate floating point operation into CPU optimized operations. It is relatively large and pretty slow as well. Fixed point implementation. It represents a floating point number with integers. The rounding process introduces some errors and operations are complex to manage. Floating point implementation. It makes use of formulas easy to implement introduce better performance, reduce code size, a win-win for all the applications.
Two charts will summarize our funding of the four implementations indicated before. This chart plots execution time. The lookup table presents the shortest execution time. The floating point unit comes second after that. The chart below plots size in byte. The lookup table is faster because all the possible values have been previously memorized, resulting in the biggest memory occupancy. As a result, floating point unit provides the best combined execution time and code size. Two demos will showcase usage of the floating point unit. These demos were run on the following demo board. The board features an RX610 with a touchscreen display and an additional extension board used to interface the touchscreen display and audio input output boards. The two demos are the following the bone symbol path and the music scale recognition displaying a fast Fourier transformer real time. The Bouncing Ball demo showcases the performance of the RX FPU by visually displaying a Bouncing Ball trajectory calculated with the FPU and without FPU. On one case, we have 22 microseconds with the FPU. On the other case, we have 106 microseconds without FPU. So approximately, it is five times slower without FPU than it is when the FPU is present. The demo uses a microphone to capture audio notes. An algorithm translates the notes into musical notes and displays them onto a pentagram. Cumulative computation time is displayed with FPU and without FPU. Computation time is on the average 11 times faster with FPU. Renesas is leading the way in creating MCU architectures to meet today's performance demand in the most cost effective way. The RX is floating point unit introduce three key benefits. First of all, code size. Second of all, accuracy. Third of all, general improved mathematical computation performance. RX, performance without sacrifice. Let RX be the core difference in your design.